let's have a look at RE framework architecture. This is how it looks like. It consists of four components in it. The first being in its state. Here, you will try to read the necessary data which we can retrieve from the configuration file that comes along with the RE framework. Then, this is the stage where we will try to open or launch our applications or read some data from the Excel or fetch the emails from our mailbox. Then, if there is any error that occurs here over here, then it will just move on to the end process and will end the process. Else, it will move on to the next state which is get transaction data state. Here, it acts as a gateway which will allow our n number of items which are available in queue to get processed. This will allow the transactions to pass through it and then will send it to the process transaction state. If there is no transactions to process then it will directly lead us to end process and it will stop over there. Then once we have some data to process it will move on to the process transaction state as we have discussed and this is the heart of this particular RE framework where we are going to perform the main repetitive task such as connecting to database, processing your data entry work, creating that particular quotations, policies or sending out some notifications and all that things. Okay, here there are three possibilities for us. If this particular transaction was successful then it will move to get transaction data and will look for the next transaction, next available transaction and it will again send that to the process transaction and here is the loop that will try to process all the transactions available in the queue. Okay, then what if it's a failure? So as we have discussed, there can be two types of exceptions. One is system exception, one is business rule exception or error. If it's system exception, say your system was not working, your application has failed to load or there was a network connection issue. In that case, this particular flow will be moved and directed towards in its state then it will check for the availability of those applications and even if then it is not succeeded then it will move on to error and process and it will stop else if it was successful then it will move towards the get transaction data and from there to process transaction and that's the process but what if it's a business rule error. In that case, we can't do anything with that because it is something that we already know that will occur. So we will just move on to the next transaction, leaving this particular transaction back. Okay, we will send out a notification to the user saying that this particular transaction has failed because of XYZ reason. Please provide that particular input or uh, just take care of that okay and we are no more bothered about that we will move on to the next transaction and so all the transactions will be processed and from there as we reach the maximum limit and we are left with no data to process then it will be sent to end process this was about the architecture of RE framework